Hey guys, Dean Speed Sales Manager Bryce here. Just stopping in as a follow-up to my last video and pictures that we posted of fitting my 21 Softail Fat Bob with a new Saddleman Step-Up seat. So I've had the opportunity now to ride the motorcycle a little less than 100 miles with this thing, uh, with a variety of riding in town, stop and go traffic, a little bit of cruising. Um, so I think I've got a really good idea of uh, what this seat has to offer. Um, and this is coming from the perspective of someone that's a little shorter. So let's jump right in. Um, well, to touch on fit and finish again, uh, it's really, in my opinion, um, second to none. I mean, there's tons of, of seat companies out there and everyone has their own preference. But what I really like about Saddleman is the just the attention to all the details. The stitching is so absolutely perfect. The double lattice stitch on this, the black, Stitching against the brown distressed uh, material, it all looks very, very top notch, um, high quality. Uh, and as you saw within the pictures and as well as the last video I did, the the fitment is great. The seat contours to the lines of the motorcycle beautifully. And the same is said, not just on a fat bob, but on a soft tail slim, a street bob, a soft tail standard. I mean, they make these seats for a ton of stuff. And as you guys know, we carry them for the Indian Scout Bobber, for the Yamaha Bolt. Um, and we have access to all of Saddleman's products. So whatever you ride, uh, hit us up and we'll get you a, you know, a price quote on um, whatever seat you're interested in. But let's jump back to this and get you the details. So what I found compared to stock, um, first thing noticeable when you, when you first sit down on this seat um, is the firmness of the material. Now I do understand that they break in a little bit and kind of give a little bit more uh, over time miles in the seat, but there's still a distinct, after that break in, a distinct difference between the, the stiffness of the padding on the Saddleman versus the factory seat. And I'm talking about a Harley factory seat. And some might think, well, that's not good. I want a softer seat, but here's the thing. What I can give you best a, a, a parallel comparison to the factory seat on the Fat Bob is, you know that couch cushion that you've sat in at for years and maybe watched a ton of Netflix or done a bunch of gaming and now when you sit down on that couch cushion, it just kind of like sinks down. And if you move to the couch cushion to your left, it's it's like a brand new couch cushion. That's the difference is the the soft seat from the, from the factory with the Fat Bob, um, it's absolutely softer than this and it definitely has that sort of quality that over time is going to just degrade. So you're much better off with something that's going to last. Um, so top marks there. The other thing you notice right off the bat when you sit on one of these seats is, despite the fact that this one does not have their gripper material, which serves the purpose of more or less gripping you to the seat more, um, it still has a fair amount of, of, of grip within it. Um, so there's very lateral, very little lateral body movement front to back. Um, you're just very well planted on this material. And if you wanna to add to that, you can add the gripper material to a custom seat uh, that hopefully you would order with us. Um, next, I would say, um, and to, to kind of approach that, that subject of, of you know, taller, shorter riders, um, two things. This is, uh, compared again to factory, a taller seat. So as a shorter rider, uh, I lose a little bit of footing when I'm stopped. Um, I don't have as much, um, you know, foot down. And, you know, I didn't buy a fat bob to, to have my feet flat on the ground. If that were the case, I would have kept my slim. But, um, so I'm not so concerned about it, although I do put great value in being able to put my feet flatter or close to it when you're trying to balance uh, 600 and a half pound motorcycle against a crosswind. So I did lose a little bit of footing there, um, but where I changed my controls to mid controls on my fat bob and my feet are elevated, this actually allowed me to relax that, that leg angle a little bit, which was nice. The other thing is it's cut more narrow than the factory seat. So whereas I may have lost some footing as far as seat to ground distance, um, gained a little bit, within the the narrowness of the inseam here at the front of the seat. So that was kind of a nice thing. Again, it's very contoured to the bike contour. It's minimalist in that sense, I would say. Um, another thing, uh, the, the lumbar here. Uh, now the Fat Bob seat from the factory has some lumbar support, but it's more swooped. And again, with the softer material, you, you don't really realize how much of a difference there is until you have this seat because it's got an abrupt angle. So 
when you sit down, the first thing you feel is this at your lower back. And it, so it offers that great lumbar support. So if you're someone with some lower back issues, maybe consider something like this. The other thing is, I don't know what bike you ride, but if it's a new uh, soft tail or possibly even a new Indian Chief, you'll know that those bikes have a significant amount of torque at low RPM. But when you smack the throttle and you, you, you know, all your weight's backing against this, all of a sudden you become very glad that that's there. Um, and with factory seats, you don't typically get that much support. So it's really awesome to have that. It was really a joy to cruise around town with this thing. I mean, it is such a confidence builder. Um, you have the lumbar support, you have the stiffer padding, so there's less give when you have that moving again. You have, you're, you're well affixed to the seat, even without the gripper material. So whatever type of riding you're doing, whether you're cruising, you've got, uh, you know, a very, contoured comfortable fit. If you're making uh, quick direction changes for whatever reason it is, you're very planted or if you're doing some aggressive riding, whether it's up in the twisties or hey, if you do that kind of riding in town, it really supports all of that. Um, there's just really no give. It just it feels like you're you're on a, a component of the motorcycle that it's a that's affixed to it and you're then essentially affixed to that component. It's all one, I feel like one piece. Um, again, it's very confident building. So, and with all of that considered, I'm very excited to try other Saddleman seats, other Saddleman products. Um, this, this seat is fantastic. Um, again, me being the height that I am and putting value in proper footing on the ground when you're stopped um, makes me uh, interested to see what other seats are out there that may um, maybe cut a little bit lower or contoured a little bit differently that puts me in a different position both riding and with my feet down so I'm interested in testing other products and giving the feedback to you guys so all of these including the one that I tested they're all up for grabs um, you've got you know the the, the step up for the the soft tail fat bob uh, in brown with the black lattice stitching um, this one's going to be a, a call or email for price um, just because it was something that I demoed. Now, this is going to be a step up for a street bob. It is black material with white lattice stitching. And then you've got here a Renegade Solo seat um, with silver stitching. Uh, again, for a street bob, these will both fit the uh, soft tail standard as well. So hit me up, 623-262-2757. Um, or contact at dean-speed.com. Either way works. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Stay safe out there.